Hi guys, I'm going to explain to you how to make jellyfish with watercolor. One of my favorite projects and everyone seems to really like it. So you're going to need a straw, paintbrush, watercolor, and a water cup for this. So, everybody will get their own straw when you're done with it. Both things go in the garbage. Okay, first thing you're going to do is you're going to pick your color. So I'm going to pick, I'm going to do a purple jellyfish first. Remember, wiggle it around in there, make sure that it gets a little wet, maybe need a little more water. Never dump your water cup into the cups, just a waste of water color. So, once I have enough water color on my paintbrush, I'm going to make a little bowl shape. So it's a little U, and close it off, and fill it in. So I'm making my jellyfish upside down. Makes it easier because the best part is making their legs. So if you notice, I just put a little extra water paint in there. So I almost made like a little puddle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my straw and I'm going to blow my jellyfish this way. So I'm going to try to blow closer to the edge here so that the legs come out the bottom. But they might get a little crazy and that's the fun part. You never know what you're going to get. Here we go. So there we go. There's one jellyfish. So now I'm going to pick a new color. Do a blue one next. Make sure there's enough water in there. I'm going to put it somewhere else on the page. You only need about five jellyfish. Fill it in, get a little extra water, make sure it doesn't drip. If it drips, it's okay, it adds to it. And now I'm going to blow. Ooh, so you notice that one only gave me a couple legs. So I could add a couple more by blowing again. And again. Alright. Do an orange one this time. Every time washing off my paintbrush, so that I don't get my colors mixed up like you see that happened to this yellow one. Bowl, top, fill it in, a little extra water, and I'm going to blow. Sometimes it won't go, and if that happens, you can always try to pick it up carefully and tilt it a little bit, and then some of them will drip a little bit more. If you can see how that orange one is dripping, it's going to run into that purple. All right. Do a couple more. Remember, if your water cup gets too dirty, you can always refill it halfway with it, more clean water. Mine's doing okay right now. And you want to make sure that you do everything really quickly. Otherwise, it starts to dry and you won't be able to blow the water. And do our last one be red. And you can always add more if you'd like. So sometimes they'll run into each other, and I think that looks really cool. So I have space. I could add at least two more. But I also want to do a little bit of clean splatter paint. And when I mean clean, I mean we're not going to get too crazy. So what you do is you hold your paintbrush. And I'm just going to use my other finger to tap. If anyone starts going like this, paint goes everywhere, and it makes a big mess. So we don't want to do that. So we're just going to tap. If you start sh shaking your paintbrush everywhere, you're going to get it taken away. So please don't do that. So I'm going to hold it, and I made sure that there's enough water in there. If there's not, get a little extra so it's drippy. And if it drips a little on its own, you know it's ready. And I'm just going to carefully tap it. The paint isn't flying up, it's just going on my paper to make almost like little bubbles. And if some of them go on top of your jellyfish, it gives them some speckles, which is really cool. I'm going to do some purple bubbles. See if it drips on its own. Nope, need a little more water. Now I know it's ready. And you could do a couple more colors or leave it like that. When you're done, you will turn it around to see what it actually looks like. So when you pick it up and take it to the drying rack, you want to be very careful that nothing wiggles around too much and that you don't drip on the floor. Pretty cool.